Hey guys, welcome back to my channel. If you're new to my channel, my name is Amartya Rupani and in today's video, I am going to compare the living cost of two big cities of Canada, that is Montreal and Toronto. So guys, we lived in Montreal for four and a half years and we just moved to Toronto last month on July 1st. And the cost difference we found between both cities is huge. So I decided to make this video to share our personal experience with you guys so that it becomes easier for you to take decision uh, before moving to Canada that which city you want to live in. So without wasting any time, let's just start. Toronto and Montreal are basically different in many ways in terms of language, food, culture, the winter weather and large difference when it comes to cost of living. So these are some of the main factors that I will discuss in this video so that you can get idea that how is it living in both cities. So let's talk about housing first. We changed three condos in Montreal during those four and a half years and guys the average rent for two bedroom condo was between $1200 to $1800 per month. It varies from area to area. If it is downtown then the rent will be in the range of $1400 to $1800 per month. But in Toronto, buying or renting the same kind of condo that we had in Montreal will cost you around 40 to 50% more and that is on average $2,200 to $2,800 per month. So buying a house or condo in Toronto will cost you much much more than Montreal. Okay, now let's talk about the jobs in both cities. You will be very lucky if you find a job in Montreal if you do not speak or understand French language. In order to find a job in Montreal, you will almost certainly need to be able to communicate in French to some degree. And this is the reason most of the immigrants prefer living in Toronto because the core language used in Toronto is English. Also, Toronto has more job opportunities as compared to Montreal because there are more manufacturing companies and many other businesses where you can find your jobs. Let's move on to the education part. Now, education cost in Montreal is three times less than Toronto. For example, if you are doing masters in engineering from one of the universities in Montreal, then the total cost will be Canadian $800 to $900 per semester. And this is for part-time students and for full-time it is $1200. And for international students, the fees are higher than this. Now let's compare the overall health system of both cities. The average wait time to find a family doctor in Montreal is from 205 to 499 days and it varies from area to area. We lived in Montreal for four and a half years and we registered ourselves to find a family doctor but never got one. So our wait time was endless. And if we had to see a doctor, we would contact some resources that provide medical consultations on the same or next day. They also charge some fees to book an appointment, let's say from $12 to $18. So in short, it is super hard to find a family doctor in Montreal. Also, if you do not have health insurance from your employer where you work, you need to pay $640 to keep back government when you file your income tax. So that's another minus point in Montreal. But in Toronto, it is super easy to find a family doctor at the nearest location of your house and you can walk into any clinic to see a doctor. Also, there is less wait time for other medical tests and on the top of that, you don't need to pay any health insurance to the government. Next is your car insurance. The car insurance cost is way too high in Toronto than Montreal. So you can say it is $300 to $400 per month in Toronto, but in Montreal, it is three to four times less than that. Similarly, the cost for public transit is also more in Toronto so the cost for one fare in Montreal is $3.50 and for monthly pass it is $86. But in Toronto for one fare the cost is a bit less but for monthly pass it is almost double as Montreal and that is $156. In Quebec the sales tax for anything you buy is almost 15% but in Toronto it is 2% less. But the prices for consumer goods are less in Quebec. So at the end it is almost the same cost that we pay when we buy anything in both cities. Let's talk about the utility bills, such as cell phone bills, internet, TV, and hydro. And they are 15 to 20% more expensive in Toronto. And guys, just so you know that in Quebec, you get more data for the same plan that you get in Toronto. Now this one is for those who have kids or planning to have kids. As you can see, the monthly expenses are way too higher in Toronto than Montreal, and it is almost 55 to 60% of difference. 
Now let's move on to the parental benefits. Now if you work and live in Quebec and you have kids then you will get more benefits as compared to Toronto. If you want to know the percentage of your benefits then guys I have provided the links in description box below you can check them out. Okay now let's talk about the most important part income tax. This is Canada's official website where you can check the tax rates for your income. So these are federal tax rates which are same for everyone and everyone has to pay but for provincial level the tax rates are different. For example, if your pay is 44740 then you will have to pay 5.05% of uh, tax on that income. But if it is more than that, then you will pay 9.15% tax on the amount that you will get after minusing 44740 from your total income. Let me just give you an example to make it more clear. Let's say if your income is 75000 per year. That means you will be paying 5.05% tax on 44,740 from this amount and on the rest amount which is 75,000 minus 44,740 which is equal to 30,260. So on this amount you will be paying 9.15% taxes. And for Quebec the tax rates are higher than Toronto as you can see for the first uh, amount that they have mentioned you have to pay 15% and if you exceed that then you are going to pay 20% so they are much much higher than Toronto and guys salaries are higher in Toronto you can say by 21% it's because the average living cost in Toronto is way too high than Montreal okay so that was pretty much it for today and guys as you know that every city or every province has some disadvantages and advantages to offer you. It's us who has to decide that which city we want to live in. So anyways, uh, if you have any questions, please let me know in the comment box. I will be more than happy to answer all of them. And if you like this video, please give it a big thumbs up and do subscribe my channel because there's a lot more coming up for you guys till then. You take care and I'll see you again.